Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and in today's episode of our Parse Crash course, we will keep talking about cloud code functions, specifically about triggers, and today we're going to see the before delete and after delete triggers. So, as you remember from our last episode, we have our Mary person, which is validated with a before save, so she's 22, because we cannot save persons uh, that are not at least 18 as age uh, anymore. And also we have addresses, and we have a Mary switch, which is uh, inserted with a after save trigger for person. And let's say I want to create uh, some logic, so I cannot delete a person which has an address. So, before deleting that person, I have to check if they have an address, and if they do, I cannot delete them. The way we do this is we type parse.cloud.beforeDelete and we pass the person class and I'm going to make a asynchronous call inside this function so I have to put an async here and get my request and arrow function it to my code so I'm going to query the addresses for this person and if they have one or more addresses I cannot delete them so let address query equals new parse dot query and we're querying for the address class and address query dot equal to and I'm searching for the owner of the address that will be my request dot object which is the person I'm trying to delete and I'm going to let count equals await because this is an asynchronous call to address query dot count so if count is bigger than zero then I'm going to throw a message saying you cannot delete a person with an address and if I go back to my console and deploy that code back to back for app. Now if I go back to my Safari and if I try to delete Mary which has an address, so delete this row, you see parse won't let me delete Mary. But if I come back to address and delete Mary's address and now go back to person and try to delete Mary which does not have an address anymore you will see she got deleted so what if I want to delete a person and delete uh, cascading addresses they have so let's change this code a little bit so change it for a before delete to a after delete so every time I successfully delete a person I'm also going to delete all their addresses so we can do this by typing uh, we're going to query for the addresses with the owner which is the person leading and we're going to make an await but we'll do a find instead because I'm going to find all the addresses they are uh, they have and then I'm going to parse dot object dot destroy all this will destroy all the addresses for a specific person after I delete that person so I'm going to be for a deploy and if I go back to Safari and addresses I see I still have one address with an owner which is Natalia 
So if I delete Natalia, now Natalia was deleted and so all the addresses for Natalia, which were, was the only one I had. So this is a very practical way of cleaning uh, cascading data uh, when you have to delete uh, related objects in parts. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you on the next one. So see you soon. Bye bye.